A lot of times you're going to want to use the zoom tool when you're working on a document. Sometimes you'll want to be able to view the entire document at once and sometimes you'll want to zoom in and look at the details of it. The first thing that you're going to do is click on the zoom tool. That's this magnifying glass down here at the bottom. And you can see the options for this tool right here. There are several different options. You can view the actual pixels which is going to make it as big as it needs to as big as it would be if you put the document online you can tell it to fit the screen that's going to bring the whole document into view you can tell it to fill the screen or you can tell it to do print size now if you want to get really specific with what you're zooming in on. There are a couple different ways to do it. The first is to make sure that the magnifying glass with the plus inside of it is selected and that means that it's going to zoom in. And you just click on the area that you want to zoom in on and keep clicking until the image is zoomed in as far as you want it to be. If you want to zoom back out you can click the negative or the minus sign inside the magnifying glass and that's the zoom out mode and you just keep clicking. An easier way to do that once you've zoomed into something is to just click fit screen and it brings you back out where you can see the whole document again. Now an even easier way to really manage your zoom is to click on scrubby zoom. When scrubby zoom is selected you can click on an area and swipe to the right and it will zoom in on that area that you first clicked on and then if you want to zoom out you click again and swipe to the left this is a much faster way to zoom in and out than switching back and forth between the zoom in and zoom out modes up here if you don't use scrubby zoom if you uncheck it then the magnifying glass works kind of like a selection tool. You can click and drag a box around whatever you want to zoom in on and it will zoom in using that box as a guide. So let's say for example we wanted to zoom in on the P on this box. We're going to click and drag a box around the P and then it's going to zoom in according to the box that we clicked. 